Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Catacynics here. So I wanted to talk about a specific study that actually proved around 70% of vegans at some point actually end up going back to meat. And this study was a large study with so many different people in it. And this was done by Fauna Analytics. And this was actually a study done on vegetarians and vegans. They found around 84% of vegetarians went back to meat and around 70% of vegans went back to meat. And as many of you will know, if you've already been on my YouTube channel, I used to be on a vegan diet for around six years, but then it ended up destroying my health holistically and I started regaining my health by incorporating meat back into my diet. So yeah, I wanted to talk about that study and I also wanted to make people aware of why so many people end up trying out the vegan diet and why many people fail and why I do not recommend a vegan diet to anyone out there whatsoever. So if you look into this study even more, they actually found around 2% of Americans do not eat any animal foods whatsoever. Yet the vegans out there will tell you the vegan diet is a growing trend and so many people are going vegan on a regular basis, which is true. So many vegans, well, people switching to a vegan diet is a lot of different people on a regular basis that have come from a meat-based diet. For sure, that is definitely happening. But then there's a lot of people that jump on the bandwagon and get off. Some people stay on the vegan diet for a short period of time. Some people do it for a long period of time and stop for a whole host of different reasons. And that 2% fact that I just mentioned is something that hasn't really changed in the last 20 years if you look into different scientific studies out there and if you wanted to look into this scientific study more i put a link down below for an article that talks about this in more depth and has the links to the studies there and i won't deny there's so many plant-based foods out there and vegan foods that are being created by so many different companies and being advertised like crazy and the whole vegan and plant-based diet movement is just being pushed like absolute crazy by a lot of different companies and a lot of other people out there that have an invested interest in pushing the whole vegan agenda you even have these plant-based impossible burgers beyond burgers some of them are even funded by bill gates and even tyson foods which is one of the biggest meat producers in the world so obviously they want people to believe as much as possible that meat is not necessarily good for them so they then can sell them loads of plant-based replicas of their favorite meat foods because they actually know that there's a lot of people interested in this and they just want to push this vegan slot like crazy because they actually know it's not good for them because if you actually look into the ingredients list on these things that they are promoting and that people are eating that they can get from burger king and so-called other fast food places and buying all this packaged processed vegan food it's just having a negative effect on people's health holistically because it is pure garbage you are better getting high quality animal foods that are pasture-raised antibiotic-free and hormone-free which actually help promote and good for you unlike what a lot of these companies will tell you out there so yeah we live in a world especially in the western world now where it can be very trendy to go plant-based or even eat a vegan diet so there's a lot of these type of people that can get onto it just due to some famous person that they love has all of a sudden gone plant-based or vegan so then they jump off the bandwagon very soon but then there's a lot of people like myself that got into it for health reasons originally that's what i did but then you find out about a parent the ethical side of veganism and then the environmental impact and how a vegan diet apparently is one of the most environmentally friendly diets which is a complete load of garbage that's based on pseudoscience and a lot of lies bred by vegan preachers out there and if you look into pasture raised animals there's a lot of science that actually show that they actually lower greenhouse gas emissions so actually eating high quality meat and other animal foods can actually improve the environment way more than a vegan diet because guess what most of those vegan foods out there that are plant-based they are grown in mono crops and what a monocrop is is where they're just growing one specific plant on a mass production level and guess what happens when this type of farming goes on they destroy the whole environment they completely rinse the soil of 
nutrition, so you have massive issues with soil depletion. They get rid of all the wildlife there, and there's even some studies done out there that shows in America that around 23 million animals are exterminated under the pest control that is done for protecting plant-based crops. So yeah, the vegan diet is not a non-violent diet at all, unlike what the vegans want to get you to believe. But yeah, for people like me and many other people that got into it for all those different reasons, we actually find time and time again, long term, that we end up becoming so nutritionally deficient in many different nutrients that are non-existent on a vegan diet or very hard to get on a vegan diet. And yes, at first, you normally feel amazing when you go vegan, especially on a whole food plant-based vegan diet, because guess what? You remove normally all of the other crap that was in your diet. And this is a trend I see with so many ex-vegans I've been talking to, they seem to come to the realization that this is why they believe that they felt so amazing at first when on a vegan diet. And at first, when you're on a vegan diet, you have all of the nutritional reserves built up within your body from all of the animal food you've been eating. But then as you do a vegan diet for a long period of time, you start to go through those reserves and then you get to a point where your health starts to deteriorate massively, you run into so many health issues mentally and physically, holistically, you start running into digestive issues and you start not being able to function to the best of your ability where you're just dragging your heels and surviving and not thriving. And this is something I see time and time again. I've done so many ex-vegan interviews recently, some with 15-year vegans, 19-year vegans, 6-year vegans, and the amount of ex-vegans contacting me on a weekly basis. Like I could do multiple ex-vegan interviews every single day. So it goes to show for me personally what I'm seeing that's going on. Yes, so many people are switching, but the amount of people that are coming off of a vegan diet is such a high percentage. And the more the vegans come out and say they're not thriving so well and they regain their health for eating animal foods like I did on this YouTube channel, the more people that are not thriving on a vegan diet will watch these types of videos and think, oh man, I've got those type of symptoms they've got going on and they've resolved them by eating high quality animal foods, maybe I could do the same. And then they do the switch and start regaining their health, which is a really, really, amazing thing and we need more and more people out there to be honest and it's, we know there's so many people that are vegan influence on social media that lie and say that they are thriving so much but i've been around so many of them that say they are feeling amazing and then by spending time around them i started to realize hmm they're actually not as healthy as they have portrayed on their social media platforms so remember just because you're looking at someone online like say some vegan bodybuilders out there or some vegan fitness people that are really high level athletes, you don't necessarily know how they feel truly. Unless you're spending time around them, you just don't know. They're gonna paint a pretty picture for you on Instagram and say that they are feeling the best, they've got the best life ever, but you really don't have full insights into how they're functioning in their everyday life. And yes, there are some people that are on a vegan diet long term and they look healthy and they apparently function to the best of their ability, but maybe it's just become their norm with how they feel. So maybe they feel good with their own relative viewpoint on a vegan diet, but who's to say once they've switched back to high quality animal foods that they wouldn't feel better and actually function better? They just don't know. And for people that knock switching to a heavy meat-based diet or an animal-based diet of high-quality animal foods that's vegan and say, like, this really, really bad and the study shows that it's bad and this and that and that, well, one, they're cherry-picking pseudoscience. Two, a lot of it's based on their dogmatic, idealistic beliefs. And three, they don't actually know. Because guess what? Before they're vegan, they're eating so many low-quality factory-farmed animal foods and loads of other garbage in their diet. They never tried some sort of high quality animal based diet such as a paleo diet or a ketogenic diet or even a carnivore diet. So unless you've experimented with it and tried it, don't knock the ex-vegans out there that have regained their health because this is what so many of the vegans do. Once a vegan that has suffered and destroyed their health on a vegan diet regains it with eating animal foods, they hate on them and bash them and they're not very nice to them. They actually seem to actually be not very empathic and compassionate people, even though they say they are very loving, compassionate, empathic people. But actually, in most cases, a lot of vegans out there are pro-animal 
and anti-human. And when you're not part of their cultish group, wow, you're for sure gonna know about it and you're gonna be pushed out of that group and you're gonna get a lot of stuff thrown at you left, right, and center. So yeah, I would say be very wary of a vegan diet. If you wanna try it out, give it a go for sure, but I wouldn't recommend doing it for a long period of time. If you're not feeling good on it, don't hold on to it, drag it out longer than is necessary for you to do so, because this is what a lot of, of vegans do. Even though they're suffering, the vegan diet's not working, they tend to put the hands over their eyes and be like, no, 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 it's not a vegan diet. It's because of this or this or this or that reason. They never actually see that it's a vegan diet effect in a negative way. But yeah, if you're not feeling good on the vegan diet, just be very mindful of what's going on with you. If you need to switch things up, listen to your body. Start experimenting with high quality animal foods. Don't listen to any vegan preacher out there that tells you that the vegan diet is the best thing for you and you just need to take this herb or do this thing or do that to resolve it when it's actually the diet affecting you in a negative way because it's a malnourishing, unsustainable diet that almost no one manages to do long term or even for the rest of their life as proven through the scientific study that I've mentioned in this video. So that's it from me in this video. If you'd like me to make any other types of videos on this type of subject, let me know down below and I'll make it for you as soon as possible. Any comments, questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and enjoy the rest of your amazing day. Peace.